continuing on our playthrough of Detroit Become Human. Uh, last time, remember, we were Connor. We met Kimsky. I created all, like, all the robots, and he wanted me to shoot a robot. And I said, no, I hate like that. And then we played as Marcus. And now we're like on the, um, spill some water, drink some water, spilt it. Uh, now we're on the uh, streets. Uh, converting androids over and uh, about to open a manhole. See why we're doing that. Also, at one point, there's a chance where like, I converted an android and I looked like it gave me a choice to leave alone or convince, but I was like converting another android when I saw that, so I didn't have a choice. But thinking about it, I'm glad I didn't do it because, um, like, if I say, oh, just let the android go, the guy probably know it's, I'm an android myself or something. So I'm glad I didn't do anything. Let him believe it was a, uh, Faulty android. Okay, anyways. Oh, come on. Hit. Alright, so what's down here? Oh. We're getting more androids? Convert more androids. See a ton to the left. Okay. Yeah, look, That's another Kara. Car, another Kara. Oh damn, I can convert them just by looking at them? Seriously? You follow. Yep, totally a virus. More androids to convert. I literally could convert just by looking at them now. I don't even have to touch them. It'd be funny if you don't like convert any, you just have like two guys behind you. not fighting back. Jesus fucking Christ! This batch is Patrol 457. I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street.
like, let me chant for it. We came here to demonstrate peacefully. Yes. And tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. No. There's more of us. We can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Chance. He doesn't want to we do have to it. make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. We can't fight back. We're not moving. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all. Wow, public opinion will way up. Jericho loves me. No, that sacrifice, Marcus. John? What? Because I saved John, John's gonna save me. Aww. Because I said John, John They're saved coming. me. That's... No. Of course, that's... of course he's gonna shoot him. He's an android that's fighting back. Hey, public opinion went way up though, so that's good. John gave his life to save Marcus. John joined his spare parts. Yeah, that's a good ending. I like that ending. Police keep firing, sacrifice self, run away, or charge. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't charge. Man, that's a lot I missed. Like, what? Convert AX1 for androids. Other choices. Okay. Weird, but okay. Hmm. But public opinion went way up. I'm actually supportive now. Four thirteen PM, but it's dark as heck. Present Lake. I don't like Amanda. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Ah. I thought Kemsky knew something. Oh, because I didn't kill Android, I didn't get that probably. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Yeah, because I didn't kill the freaking Android. Kemsky was just playing with me. Crazy. He didn't know anything. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. 
Oh, she's That's a robot. Why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? You're a robot. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for Lieutenant Anderson? I don't know what you're talking about. You gotta pretend to be a robot to her. I don't feel anything. You know that. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. Oh. No, of course not. They didn't have any negative consequence, so... It's a good thing. Keep her... You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. We, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? It's FBI, dude. They, you can't. There's nothing they're federal. can do. Yeah, they're federal. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyber life. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Ooh, path unlocked. Yay. I is friends with Hank, so I can continues on. Solve this case. We just needed more time. Gotta act like a cop. Yeah. Look, so you're Captain's going back wrong. to cyber life? Captain's wrong. I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. That's not what I thought regret was going to be. you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. Yeah. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. You're wrong, Lieutenant. Dang it, that's not it what I mean. Logic that determined my decisions. Nothing more. This is not what I want. <sighs> I know there are things that haunt you, Hank. But maybe you need to find the courage to move past them. Get on with your life. I guess that was the right one. It's just a plastic cop's opinion, but I had to say it. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. So I gotta solve this case? It's a virus. The basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Perkins, you fucking cow. 
Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Act like an android. We hear from you way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. Yeah, whatever. Frick. I'm an android dummy. No, 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 Connor. That's not what that one. I do. It's going down. Okay. Why is it plastic? So you can see inside. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? <laughs> Obviously. Simon. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Three nine eight three B. Three nine eight three B. Do you have that? <sighs> Yeah, we'll take a look at this real quick. Okay, never mind. It's dark. Where? Where am I? I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Oh, yeah. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Choice. They'd have killed us all. It'll be all right. I came to take you home. To 
Give me the location of Jericho. We've got to leave now. Jericho. Yes. Yes, of course. Don't leave me again, Marcus! Don't leave! It looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit! Get the alarm! Now! Found the location of Jericho. Oh, oh look at all those. Choices. All right, let's go to you on. Interesting loading. Yeah, I knew I, I figured I had to go find where uh, Jericho was. I was like, my number one uh, like thing I needed to get done. I mean, everything else is learn learning about deviants, but we can get more information from Jericho and then learn about actual deviants. I'm Kara now. Heck is this shit? Next. I mean, if you like the music, that's all you. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? That's a good point. If we're using them for like military purposes. We need them. Sorry to do the game sometimes. Find Jericho? Then we're gonna can Canada. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Uh, deliver me to Jericho. They did not hang around. You have a bus to catch. Well, which way am I supposed to freaking go? She said we on here. Can't just jump this. Okay, Luther's going this way. I think they would have sentries out or something like that. Oh, 
Are we all converging now onto one area? This is obviously Jericho. Now it's getting dark. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids want to do it. Back here. Following the Android crisis. The chills, man. They suck. Fever Stay chills. with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours, and the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about yeah. Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. What? Find Deviant Leader. Alright. So I think I'm actually close to the end of the game. Um, I was going to cut it off here for tonight and stream more, but I'm probably going to I'm gonna end up doing one more episode only because I really do think I'm at the end and I don't want to stop like here. Um, so, uh, anyways, I'm going to stop this episode, I'm going to start right one right immediately afterwards, so I'll come right back, but anyways, once again, if you're not going to watch the next one, sorry to hear it, but thank you for joining me, my name is Atticus, um, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, also hit that like button, uh, comment, all that good junk, but anyways, once again, thank you for joining me, y'all have a good day.